I spent about an hour in the Oval Office today with President Donald Trump as he approaches his 100th day in office. And one of the most interesting aspects was that he chose to weigh in on the upcoming French election. He said that he believes that the recent attack at the Champs Elysees will probably help the far right candidate Marine Le Pen, saying that she is the strongest candidate on borders and a lot of the security issues that France is dealing with right now. Now, the president specifically said he was not endorsing Le Pen in this election, but he did say that he thought that the candidate with the strongest record on, on borders and terrorism would win the contest. And again, he cited her as, the, as that candidate. It's unusual for a U.S. president to weigh in so specifically on a foreign election, but Trump said that he didn't actually think that it was unusual. He said that everybody is making predictions about elections and he's just like anybody else doing that. I also talked to the president about the dreamers. These are the young immigrants who are brought to the US illegally as children and said, you know, what can you say to them? They're very nervous that you're going to enact immigration policies that will lead to their deportation. And he said that his message to the dreamers was that, was that they can rest easy. He said that is the policy of his administration, that they are not going after dreamers, they're going after criminals. So that will be a sigh of relief for a lot of these young people. Uh, the president says that he is going to release a tax reform package in the middle of next week. Uh, this came as a surprise to a lot of congressional Republicans who haven't heard a lot about this tax package, but the president says that it is going to result in a massive tax cut for both individuals and businesses. He didn't provide a lot of details about how he would accomplish that, how a tax package would be paid for, but he does say that it's coming next week, right ahead of his 100-day mark in office.